Hello. The eponymous Sonia Reichel is an amber fragrance targeting the ladies that was launched in 1997. I think it's a gourmand oriental. The nose is Emily uh, Bevière Cooperman, responsible for a slew of creations like uh, Givenchy's Play, uh, Serpentine, of which I have a bottle from Comme des Garçons, and uh, along with Mark Bux Buxton, uh, Paco Rabanne's Black XS for her, this bottle here, that according to the owner of both these fragrances, bears some semblance to the fancy t-shirt fragrance here. But I think the XO version is a little more generic. Sonia still has a little bit of something something going on. Now Sonia Reichel is a designer best known for her knitwear. So the sweater tee is a cute representation of her stamp on the fashion world. And it's somewhat charming, though not really my personal taste as far as presentation goes. What does it smell like? Let's find out. Hello my lovelies, it's Trina Saint Gourmand here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry about the noise. I removed myself from the coast of Lake Erie because it was too windy, but you know what? I think you're gonna get some wind here because I couldn't, I just can't escape the wind and it's a, it's a beautiful breezy day. And I don't yet have a windsock. I usually film indoors. Now, Sonia Reichel is a 90s bombshell, must have classic fragrance for oriental lovers. People have mentioned Calvin Klein's Obsession, Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb, and Thierry Mugler's Angel when talking of it. And I see how people might see facets of those fragrances in here, but no, this is different. If I had to compare it to something, it would be Emmanuel Ungaro's Diva, that 90s powerhouse, you know? Yes, this one is a more complex concentration that's strong, but on me, longevity and sillage projection are a little bit subpar. I'm picky when it comes to performance though. And it does morph a tad on the skin and it does go through its phases. It's got a heavy start, but to me it lives closer to the skin. Here are the notes. Sonia Reichel is a resinous, bright EDT that has a lot of sweet fruitiness in the top notes, but for me, it drives quickly past the fresh greenness into a floral caramel and molasses center. I feel like I'm on a summer beach boardwalk where the salty wind is blowing past the white florals on the hills and picking up the scents of caramelized popcorn and saltwater taffy as it wafts its way to my nostrils. I detect some spiciness stirred into a vanilla centered Après Sun body cream. It's not exactly heavy, but there's a syrupiness to it, more like hard candy. Smelling it earlier today, yeah, this is what I get. But last night when I sprayed it, I thought it greener, slightly fresher, and I could smell the pineapple that I have a harder time picking up now. It was cooler than mine. Maybe the weather impacts it? Oh no, I get the pineapple. <laughs> but it's not a fresh and juicy pineapple. It's a sweet baked version of the fruit. The juice is a little syrupy. This fragrance blossoms on skin after an hour or so, I feel. That's when the patchouli does its magic. Yeah, I think you'll have a challenging time finding complex blends like this with newer perfume releases. The downer with this fragrance is that once the opening completely fades, which does take a while, it gets a little soapy, which is not for me. Now this is an older bottle and it's not mine. I borrowed it from a friend of a friend here on Lake Erie, Canada. I've thus not spent too much time getting to know it. It's also discontinued, so I won't be servicing you guys much by singing at high praises if you can't get a hold of it. But like other discontinued fragrances, I do believe you can find a bottle out there if you search for it. Let me know if you do. There's an EDP version of this in a gold bottle and a rose version and what looks like a lighter fresh version colored blue. Haven't sniffed. To me, this well-blended, sinuous scent is not a must-have to any of you who don't already know it. I feel it's a perfume most people would repurchase if they owned it 20 plus years ago and wanted a fragrance to sniff to take them back to a particularly positive memory from the past. 
I never owned this one, so I don't have memories associated with this. However, it does take me to the 90s and I feel that taffy on the boardwalk vista when I smell it. It's a yummy floral, slightly spiced caramel bombshell. I like it and although it's a bit perfumey and little dated, thanks to the caramel I feel it's still wearable today. Short and sweet today, fellow fume heads. I shall see you in the next, hopefully less windy, video. Mwah.